Um, I especially appreciate the study on the C4ISR Pochong system. Uh, the administration approved another multi-million dollar um, back in January 29th uh, add-on for the Pochong and I believe in the past few months they reached uh, operating uh, capacity. But my question is what next? So uh, the two perennial items, um, Taiwan, Taiwan's uh, interested, in, interest in FCC <coughs> CDs and uh, Taiwan's formal letter of request for uh, diesel submarine design. Um, I figured when the deputy minister was here, it'd be hard to say anything but sell, sell, but since he's out of the office, out of the room right now, <laughs> might be a timely, um, time to uh, I'm going to direct that to Lieutenant Colonel Retired Mark Stokes. So, so the question is, uh, what next? Uh, starting off with, uh, you mentioned the, F, the, the two remaining items, uh, F-16s and uh, submarines. Um, there, there are two ways to look at, at, at all these issues. One is purely military, and the other is, uh, is, is political policy. When, when you evaluate a request, there, um, I mean, in general, uh, there are three criteria I guess one could use. One, of course, unique to our relationship with Taiwan, uh, the Taiwan Relations Act, is defensive. Uh, the reality, though, when you look at something as defensive or offensive, it, it really depends upon which side of the gun that you're standing. Uh, you, this pin I have can be used offensively. Um, and so let's take the F-16s, for example, first. Um, three, three criteria, defensive. Is an F F-16 defensive? Of course it is. Compared to a Tomahawk or a ballistic missile, it sure is defensive. Yes, it has an inherent uh, ability to be able to deliver, deliver munitions. Uh, but the thing about a manned aircraft that makes it so much different than a ballistic missile is that there's a man in the loop and that it also has a, a, um, a, an even more, a, more of a capability for defensive air, uh, air superiority operations. And it's not just for uh, F-16s, but it's also uh, for, for example, F-35. Um, for example, F-35 used to be known as Joint Strike Fighter. Uh, this hides the point that actually it, it is a, one, of the, one of the best platforms for air-to-air -air that, that's, uh, that's been fielded, or that will be fielded. So uh, in terms of defensive, yes, it meets that criteria. Um, number, uh, number two, legitimate requirement. It, it, is it a legitimate requirement for Taiwan? Um, there's been a lot of arguments that, for example, Taiwan can't, uh, that, that Taiwan can't, um, you know, the airfields be damaged uh, or, you know, they can't sustain the operations because of the, the ballistic missile problem. Um, that, that may be true in a worst case full scale um, uh, scenario where that involves, uh, for example, simultaneous launches of 140 uh, short range ballistic missiles. Uh, and, then it gets be, and then it gets to be a race between uh, repairing runways and then getting aircraft off the ground for either defensive uh, counter, -opera, uh, counter -air operations or making a very feeble, almost uh, would be a foolish attempt to be able to go against the guys on the other side of the Taiwan Strait. The situation has changed quite a bit, where uh, it makes F-16s even more defensive these days.